This is a story I wrote called The Illusion of Freedom. Tell me if you think it's the ugly truth, fiction, or fiction. In 1776, when the Declaration of Independence was signed, to 1777, when Betsy Ross's U.S. flag was first adopted, to 1787, when our Constitution was written, to 1889, when Congress and Senate were first established, the American people welcomed the birth of a well-intentioned government designed to serve and protect and uplift the nation. It was seen as a pillar of democracy. However, unbeknownst to its citizens, this seemingly benign institution had silently transformed over the years, ensnaring and manipulating those it vowed to serve. A shadow government hidden beneath layers of deceit emerged. Over time, this same government began abusing its power and began pursuing agendas such as stealing taxpayer money, lying about current events, the Revolutionary War, assassinations, events surrounding September 11th, just to name a few. The reality of these events intentionally distorted to incite wars and consequently line the pockets of certain individuals. The time for unraveling these ugly truths and more truths has arrived. As the 19th century dawned, government institutions emerged resonating with promise of prosperity for all. Citizens were initially captivated by the noble intention of these newfound protectors, embracing the notions of unity under a shared vision. They saw a government as a guiding light, providing safety nets for those in need, and ensuring a fair and just society. However, unbeknownst to the masses, these foundations of trust were gradually crumbling beneath the weight of hidden agendas. Decades passed and whispers of government manipulation swirled amongst statute observers, Key events cloaked in secrecy stoked growing concerns. Elusive alliance between influential figures, carefully orchestrated political campaigns, and veiled control over the public opinion began to surface as fragments of a puzzle wanting to be unraveled. The once bright flame of hope began flickering as questionable policies crept into legislation, favoring the elite few over the struggling masses. Lobbyist and corporate interest infiltrated a sanctity of governance, tilting the scales towards personal gain rather than representing the true voice of the people. With every passing year, the divide between the powerful and the vulnerable grew wider, casting a foreboding shadow over the nation. A handful of brave individuals fought to pierce this veil of deception, defying the consequences of advocation for the truth. Whistleblowers emerged unveiling hidden surveillance programs, clandestine operations, and murky dealings that infringed upon personal liberties. The stagnant waters of complacency began to stir as the American people, previously blinded by false assurances, demanded transparency and accountability. The vibrant dawn of American nationhood, the government stood tall as a beacon of hope and progress. It emerged as an amalgamation of great minds, motivated by the noble pursuit of creating a system that would serve the people. Their intentions were genuine, aiming to create a platform where freedoms, equality, and justice intertwined harmoniously. At first, the control seemed justified, masquerading as necessary regulations aimed at maintaining order. Citizens were subjected to invasive surveillance and stringent laws that were deemed crucial for national security. Personal lives were invaded, private conversations monitored, and discerning voices suppressed under the guise of national security. The ability to dissent was gradually eroded, silenced by an inversible chains woven with information. Control, secret agreements, and targeted propaganda, the government had become a puppeteer orchestrating a grand illusion of protection while tightening its grips on the American people. The economy, too, was a masterfully manipulated to favor the elites and maintain the government's stranglehold. The illusion of free market capitalism disintegrated, revealing the system's rig to benefit the few at the expense of the many. Citizens struggled under the weight of crippling debt while corporations thrived under the protection and influence of those in power. Many citizens began to awaken to the grim reality of their controlled existence. Small pockets of resistance formed seeking to unveil the truth and reclaim the liberties they once cherished. These brave individuals risked everything to expose the government's true intentions and inspire their fellow citizens to rise against the facade of security that shrouded their lives. However, the seeds of deception sown many decades ago took root and began to flourish gradually. An intricate web of clandestine organizations spun beneath the surface, prevail 
privileging their own interest over the well-being of American population, the very ones who breathed life into this nation. Pandora's box of deceit was unleashed. Corrupt politicians, invigorated by the allure of power, quietly infiltrated the corridors authority of authority, manipulating the government's resources and influence of self-gain. Industries once regulated to protect the common became breeding grounds for monopolies and exploitations, all orchestrated behind the veil of an apparently upright government. With every passing year, the scale of hidden machinery grew exponentially. Citizens, oblivious to the machinations taking place, continued to trust their elected officials, unaware of the widening disconnect between the rule, rulers and the ruled. Yet despite the elaborate maze of lies, there were occasional revelations that hinted at the insidious puppetry orchestrated behind doors. For example, the current administration's weaponization of the Justice Department and the long-running election interference to advance political agendas. Whistleblowers have emerged, brave souls who dared to expose the manipulation that lay dormant within the government. Their revelations offered a glimpse of the true extent of the deception shaking the foundations of a once trusted institution. Today, the unmistakable orders of corruption and control are difficult to ignore. Calls for transparency and accountability grow f louder, fueled by the emergence of new technologies that enable the truth and pierce the, through the veils of deceit. The American people, waking up from their slumber, demand to know the truth and hold their elected representatives to a higher standard. Although the shadows continue to loom, there is still hope. By understanding the extent of the deception, by embracing a united voice, and by demanding justice, the citizens of America can reclaim what was taken from them. The sun, obscured for far too long, is primed to shine forth, illuminating the path towards government truly created to serve its people. The revelation that our government once intended as a safeguard for the American people had turned into a puppet master meticulously pulling strings behind the scenes filled us with worry and concern. The realization that our trust has been abused and manipulated over the years is an unwelcomed revelation. Yet within this darkness lies the opportunity for rebirth as a chance to forge a new path towards a truly just and transparent government. The choice now rests with the people to succumb to fear and indifference or to rise, united demanding a government restored to its authentic purpose only by shedding light on the deepest shadows of deception can we reclaim our collective power, ensuring that our government serves the people rather than collectively manipulating them.